Hey everybody, this is Dean DeCosta, and what we're going to do here, we're going to do a combo thing. First, I'm going to show you about the FEC, the Federal Election Commission. Now, what I like about this is, well, to be honest, it's pretty cool. So let's look at this. You can do it by name, by city, by state. We're just going to go with state. We're going to pick, say, oh, I don't know, Alabama. No, let's not pick Alabama, Alabama. Let's pick another state that we can do. Let's pick Texas. Let's pick an occupation. We're going to do software developer. Heck, I've already done it once, and we're going to do a query. And so what's going on is it's going out and looking within the state of Texas for people who may have um, given money to an election who have the title software developer, and look what we get. Now, you're going to get duplicates, but here's the information. You get their, na you get their name. You get the city they live in. You get their employer, you get their title, committee name, don't really care about that too much. You get all this other stuff. I don't care about any of this. All I care about is name, city, employer, occupation. Right there, I can get their work email. I mean, that's easy enough. But the key is that's enough info to upload to a Zap Info, a Seekout, a Aerochol, a Luxo to get more information. But the question is, how do you get it out? There's a lot of ways. Well, I'm going to talk about one. You know, I've talked about data miner in, in Excess. People know about it. I've talked about that before itself. People know about it. Now we're going to talk about this one, Instant Data Scrape. And this is the simplest data scraping tool out there. Push a button. Please wait. It's trying to find the info. And look, it gets it. Now, let's say, for instance, this table, it wasn't the right table. You can do this to say, try another table. And it will move around within the website to the different tables so you get the one you want. So in this case, let's see what we get. We got the name. Look at that. We got all the information separated and pretty and ready to rock 117 now there's a lot of dupes and tricks. by the time you're done with it you're down to about 30 40 but it doesn't matter you can download the csv or excel and guess what guys this is free now remember i said try another table so i'm gonna push about try another table well that's the table we're on now we're gonna try another that got big that ain't helping us um let's try another Yep, that ain't giving it. Let's try another. Ah, uh, we're getting closer, but not quite. Ah, uh, there we go. See how it went through all the different tables. And if you look here, it says locate next button. That means you can locate the next button, and it'll try to get you more of the people. So it'll like paginate. Great tool, simple, easy. For people that can't program or really can't figure things out, and when you're looking at a site that really isn't profile-based, which means ZapInfo doesn't work, this is a good tool for you. Now, it doesn't work everywhere. That's why having Data Miner, this, along with ZapInfo and Dig, who I just did a recording about, gives you that four-tool super combo that makes it so you can pretty much scrape anything, anywhere, anytime. And that's really how simple it is. It's Data Scraper. It is a Chrome extension. This is Dean DaCosta, the Search Authority.